walls all around. Wowie zowie. This is, uh, this, this is some stuff right here. This is some, this is some, some hot controversy. Latest breaking news, the latest hot development in this whole Pokemon Sword and Shield thing. Um, so obviously, earlier in the year, Masuda tells us all that for the first time in the series history, Pokemon Sword and Shield will not contain every single Pokemon ever. They were going to cut an amount. At the time, we didn't know how many that was, but it seemed like it was going to be a pretty good amount. And they said, there's just too many Pokemon. This was inevitability. They're not going to be able to keep all the Pokemon in the games forever. And they specifically said there was a lot of uh, stuff around whether or not the article or the interview was mistranslated. Um, it seems that it was not. They said they cited redoing models. They specifically said redoing models. And we can't redo all the models forever. So in order to make a higher quality experience, they lower the number of Pokemon so they can redo the models, make them look more lively. Okay, so I did a big old fat video on this. Uh, just in case you haven't seen it, the entire thing basically summed up. <laughs> just a couple se sentences is um, the Pokemon company Pokemon itself is one of the, no, it is the largest, the largest multimedia franchise ever. Literally ever, ever. They can do whatever they want. They could redo all the models. They could have all the Pokemon. It is a fact, an actual fact that if they wanted to, they could, and it wouldn't even hurt their pocketbooks too bad. There are other series out there that sell less and make substantially less money, and yet they put just so much um, incredible, luxurious detail into their games. You could play them and see that, that what you say, like, it seems like they've spent a vast, vast amount of time just making this game. And so, yeah, Pokemon could be doing the same thing if they wanted to. Absolutely true. And if they can't because their team isn't big enough, then that's their fault. Like, that's, that's the Pokemon company's fault for not making their, their team that makes the mainline games in the one of the biggest series, one of the biggest video game series in the whole entire world and definitely the biggest franchise in the entire world, that's on them for not making their team big enough. Sorry, this is actually more than a few sentences, but but it's important. Important to set the stage. Not everybody has seen that video. And, um, and all of this is especially true. It's especially true that they should be able to at least include all of the Pokemon, even if they're not redoing them all, even if they're not redoing the models like they said. At the very least, um, I didn't know this until I looked into all this, but around the 3DS time, they made a bunch of models for every Pokemon, really nice, high quality models, and then downscaled them to fit on the 3DS. They did this as a way of future-proofing the series so they wouldn't have to remake the models every time. They could just use these nice, future-proofed models. So there's no reason why they shouldn't at least be able to do that. But that's the thing, is they've been saying, no, we're not including them all. Despite having all these future-proof models, we're for some reason not including them because we wanted to redo them, redo the models. That's the biggest issue here. That They said that in an interview. <laughs> They they said that we are redoing the models and that's why it would take too long to bring all of the different Pokemon to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Well, today, um, okay, well, I mean, not even just today. You've probably seen how Pokemon has been leaking all over the place. Um, I don't even know what the source was. It sounded like there might have even been someone inside Nintendo, but then there's always people breaking street dates and... Some people, early copies, not that many early review copies are going around anymore, so I don't really know, but like, it got out there. It's been out there, people have been playing the game, and they've been data mining the heck out of the game, and coming to a lot of, uh, a lot of conclusions about how many Pokemon were cut, and it seems that more than half were cut, which is, woof, rough, very, very rough, but that's not completely the real point I'm trying to make here. Uh, the, the, the latest, uh, the latest development is it seems that data miners have uh, been digging into the code and checking out the models, and here they have presented to the internet some very, very compelling, uh, really compelling evidence that Pokemon Sword and Shield are indeed using the old models, the old future-proofed models uh, and or whatever, the, the ones from the 3DS, basically the old models. And, um, I mean, you can see it right here, like, 
they're they're identical. They're they're clearly, really, really clearly identical. Um, so, I mean, even before it was weird, like even before in my video, I mentioned how it's like weird that they said they're redoing the models, but you can just look. You could just see footage of the game and see the models and in many cases even the animations and you're just like they sure don't look new they don't look new at all and they certainly don't look more lively which is another thing they said they wanted to do um they still seem pretty stiff and just kind of whatever and you're like if you are redoing them you're redoing them to be identical so that's kind of weird and so now we have this and it's even more evidence i mean if this is true then it's proof but at the moment just bear with me i'm calling it evidence um and right now if you are on twitter uh <laughs> There's a pretty fine chance that you are seeing the hashtag Game Freak Lied trending. That's what's uh, popping up all over my feed right now is a lot of people are pretty sick of this whole thing and they're they're just kind of they're just kind of done and they're just like, "Hey, this is proof. These guys lied. They lied to our faces about the reason for cutting the decks and that seems more and more to support the theory that they just cut the decks because eh, less money to spend, you know what I mean? Just to Cheaper to make the game, make more money in the end. That's what that's what people are saying. And um, at the moment, I, I'm gonna be annoying about this. I'm hesitant to jump on the wagon just yet and outright say, hashtag Game Freak Lied. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, it's just, it's a very, very serious accusation. And I suppose I'm in something of a slightly more delicate position as a heavy, heavy quotation marks on professional in this field. Super heavy quotes on that one. <laughs> Basically, just the position that I'm in, I try not to jump to any conclusions, even when those conclusions seem pretty concludy. You know what I mean? I just... Basically, I still don't know everything. I haven't played the game myself. I haven't data mined the game myself. I don't know if I can trust all of these sources. I don't know if maybe they are somehow accessing information incorrectly or coming to the wrong conclusion or possibly cherry picking what they're finding or something. I'm not like throwing out these claims hardcore. I'm just saying that's why I just don't know. I just don't know. I don't have none, none of this. All of this is uh, anecdotal. All of this is second, third, fourth, fifth hand knowledge or information rather. Or, I mean, I know it's a bit of a stretch, but like, what if, what if they are using the old models, but they've been, uh, a lot of them have been reanimated to make them more lively, even though they weren't redone. That would still mean that what they said was not true, but uh, I don't know. Um. But I will say, despite the fact that I'm still not jumping on it quite yet, I will say, as I said before, this is very, very compelling evidence. It looks like a lie. It feels a bit like a lie. Or, I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I it, it, I think that's that might be the only interview where they've said that. I, maybe it's wrong to take the... To, uh. It's very complicated. It's a very complicated business. Maybe other people at Game Freak didn't want him to say that. Maybe maybe the majority of the people there don't want to tell us that. I don't know. It's it's just it's complicated. But it it seems it seems like it's not true. Whether or not he was maliciously lying, I will say that at least the things that he said <laughs> definitely feel like they are not true. They already felt like they weren't true. And now if this is true, if all of this data mine stuff is real and all these models and everything, then yeah, seems like that's not true. And um, and I, as a lot of people are saying, it's like even if they're gonna cut the decks for whatever reason, whether it is too hard or they are just cheaping out or whatever, if they were gonna do it, it's like it wouldn't be so bad without a lie. I'll say a lie. <laughs> if there is a lie, that makes it a lot worse. Giving us a reason that's just not a good reason, it, like that's, I don't know. It just makes it a lot harder to swallow, you know what I mean? And this really is a bit of a PR disaster on their part. Like, they are not handling this right. Because it's like, you tell us that you're cutting the decks drastically, and you give us a reason. Okay, we look at that reason and we see that it does not hold water. It's full of holes. So, we are then going to come up with our own 
alternative reasons. You know what I mean? Like we're we're gonna say, okay, this isn't the reason, so it's probably, and we're gonna hypothesize what we think it really is, and that is bad PR. That's that is the, that's the definition of bad PR is leaving it all up to us and our imaginations to figure out like why the thing that you said is not the you, you know what I'm saying. And I will say, just you could even say separately from the situation and whether or not there was a lie or a mistruth or a misunderstanding or whatever, I hate being lied to. I really do. I, when a company lies to me, it really does break my trust. And that this is one of the reasons I don't like a lot of the bigger companies that I've talked about a few times now I don't want name any names or whatever but just there's a lot there's a lot of big gaming companies out there and they've been caught with their hands in the cookie jar they have been caught lying just bold face lying and I feel like when that happens it's like is that is this legal why like it's almost like how are you allowed to be a company after that you know what i mean like you're just allowed to just say we're doing this because of this and it's just like no you're not you're just not but then everything just business as usual they just keep on going on um so i don't really like it and so i know a lot of people um a lot of people think that some other people are being to a, a little rash here or a little immature in 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 how much they dislike this situation but um i'll tell you right now i am completely in support of boycotts i am if people decide that there's a reason they don't want to buy a game it almost doesn't even matter what that reason is if they don't want to buy the game they don't want to buy the game you know what i mean either, oh that's a dumb reason to not buy it whatever They're, they don't want to buy it let let them not buy it and and if you are voting with your dollar and trying to make a statement uh, because you feel that you have been mistreated by or a situation has been mistreated by a company, you want to send a message to that company that you will not buy their products. If they're going to do that, they're going to treat you that way. Go for it, man. I fully support it. A hundred percent. Anybody who says, I think they lied to me, so I am not going to buy these games go for it you will not hear any complaining from me and i in fact think that the industry could use more of that more of us should be standing up for ourselves and sending messages to the companies because then it would be harder for them to get away with it all the time so that's that we will see how this situation continues to develop i don't know if i'll report on it any more than this in fact i've been trying to kind of stay away from the whole controversy for a while um but this one got a video out of me i i don't know i just really wanted to put my opinion out there and kind of take a look at it and mostly I'll just be waiting for the game to come out in a couple days it's coming pretty soon here and I'll just have to play the game and see if I think this is a game you know this is a review you do a review you do a video on the video on the thing let me know what you think down in the comments are you a hashtag game freak lied or are you a hashtag thanks game freak or whatever that one was from a few days ago or somewhere in the middle like a hashtag I'm cautiously optimistic, but also sort of now leaning the other way a little bit because it does kind of feel fishy what they've been talking about, but I'm not really sure. And I'm just kind of waiting to see. That's a long hashtag. Don't do I think that's beyond the Twitter limit. Uh, anyway, see you guys later. Have a good one.